Okay, I will try to explain how styles work. Um, they can be a bit tricky to understand, but I think once you get the logic, um, it is way easier to work with them. So if I create a shape, let's say I'm going to create one and two shapes here, okay? I'm going to select one and paint it red, and the other one I will, sorry, I will paint it uh, in this blue, all right? Uh, if I go to advanced here, when, I, when you see shapes here, it is basically showing you that this vector layer has two shapes, has this red one and the blue one. And actually when I select the shape red, you can see this, this shape is called S1. I could, I could call it red and press enter and the, this one could be called blue. Okay, so here you can select shapes um, with this drop menu, which is basically the same than just clicking um the sh clicking the shapes with the select shape tool all right now the styles um are just like materials that you can create okay they are they are independent to the shape so let's uh create a material here so i just create a new style here all right and let me i, I will just call it style one that's okay so let's see let, let's say this style is going to be green and the stroke is going to be, I don't know, um, purple, all right? And the thickness is going to be 10, all right? And maybe it is going to have a brush, all right? So this is the style I created. So now once I am, I am done with editing the style, I can come here and select none. So that way um, I'm going back to the default window, okay? I don't have any style selected here. Now, if I want to use this style, I can go here to style one and select my the, the style I just created, okay? So this style is here. So this means that by default, now the software is going to use this style to draw. So if I draw a new shape, let's draw another circle. You can see this circle uh, has the, the green color of the style, the purple color of the stroke, and it also has the brush and the line thickness of the of the style all right now if i select this shape you can see this shape uh by default it, it should be red and it should have the the stroke black and it should have no brush okay so let's say um if i remove the style from here so if i said none so i have this selected so i know this is using style one so if i select this one and i set none here now it's going to come back to the original color so it is still has that that color but it is not being shown because the style takes the priority here all right now you can see here that there are some checkboxes okay so these checkboxes um they allow you to use the style so let's say i like this style i, I like the purple um stroke and the brushes but i don't i don't want the color to be green so I want to to have a um my own my own custom color for this shape but I want to still use this, this style. So what I do in that case is I select this shape and I can click on the checkbox here for the color. So now you can see this shape is still using the style but this color is overriding overwriting no overriding I don't know. <laughs> it's taking the priority uh over the style so i can i can use whatever color i want now for this but this one is still using the same style but not for the fill that's the thing okay so now if i select it again and i uncheck this you can see it goes back to green which is the color of the style and the same happens with the stroke color so you see when i when i uh, click on the checkbox it takes the the original color of the shape here for the stroke um actually let me just and uh and check this one so I, I i don't want the checker selection here so you can see the the color is uh, is black now and i could change it to something else uh let's say a darker green okay so now the color of the stroke is not using the style it's using this personalized color okay so this is this checkbox and the other checkbox is for the line width so now again if i check this one i can set whatever line width i want for this shape so it is not going to use the language of the style anymore. So if I uncheck it, it goes back to the style.
Okay. And for the brushes, we don't have um, we don't have a checkbox because the software assumes okay if if your shape shape has no brush, that means it is going to use the brush of the style. But if you if you apply a brush to your shape, then that means that you want to use this brush instead of the brush of the style. All right. So now I will set this to none. So this is this how a styles uh, work. So now let's say I'm going to select these two shapes here. Uh, so I'm using shift to click on one and then hold shift and click in on the other one. So I have both shapes selected and I can select a style here. So now the three shapes are using the same style. And that means now that if I want to change all this together, I can select the style here. Uh, sorry. I can select the style here. And now let's say I don't want this to be purple, I want it to be black and maybe I want it to be thicker and maybe I want another brush. So let's say, yeah, I like this one. So I click OK and now everything that is using that style changes. Now, if you see here, I am editing the style here. So I am inside of style one. If you see here, I have checkboxes too. So if I and check the the checkboxes of uh, checkbox of the fill now each shape is going to show its own original color because the style is not affecting the fill anymore okay so if i uncheck the stroke color is the same now the the shapes are using their own uh stroke color let me just change this color so we can see it better so let's say the style is purple if i uncheck it now the shapes are go they go back to black and green which are the the colors of the of the original shapes and the same happens with the line width if i uncheck this now the shapes are going to use their original line width in this in the case of the blue shape that the, the original line width is very thick so that that's why it looks very similar um, so this also answers why you can have uh, more than one style because let me actually create a new file here uh, let me just reset everything. I will set this to none now. I will create a new file with new styles. So let's say I'm going to create a new style and I'm going to call this style line because I want to affect only the line. So with this style, I can uncheck the, the fill and, and I will leave checked all the, the stroke color and the line width, okay? And I will set a brush here. So let's say this. Uh, so this style is going to be blue, uh, blue strokes um, of 10 um, points for, of width, okay? So now I'm, I'm done with that, my line style and now I can create uh, a new style that is going to be called fill1, okay? And this fill1, I don't want to have any line uh, width, any color, and I don't want to show any stroke but I want the fill to be, okay, let's say purple, all right? And now I'm going to create fill two, so a new style here, fill two. Okay, and again, I'm going to uncheck all this and the fill two is going to be bluish um, and that's it, all right? So now I select none and now I can create a shape. Let's say I'm going to create two shapes here and now I can select the first one and I will say, okay, the first one is going to use the line style and it's going to use fill one, all right? And the other one, I just select it and I want to use the line here and I want to use fill two, all right? So now they both are using a style. They share one of the styles, but they are using a different one for the, for the fill. So that's why you have uh, two different styles. Now, if your styles, in, in, in this case, you see that the line is only affecting the line and the fill is only affecting the, the fill here. It doesn't have any checkboxes. If you have checkboxes here, then one style will be prioritized over the other one. So if, if there is a conflict, the, the software is going to pick one of them to show you. So that's, that is what was happening with your example there. So you were switching the styles or you were selecting two different styles, but both of those styles, they they were affecting uh, the field, the strokes, and I don't know if the rushes, but um, many things together. So the software had to prioritize one.
Um, and I, I think that's mostly it, really. So just be sure that once you are you you are done editing the style, just go back to none. So you know that you are you are working here, and be sure that the default, if you don't want to use any any style, just just be sure to set none here before drawing any shapes. If you don't want to use the styles, and if you want to draw by default with a, with a style, let's say I will select line, and now I can draw something using that line you see so all these lines are working together actually this is nice um for instance if you create a frame by frame layer um and i select by default this frame by frame layer is going to use line so i create one circle and then i will create another frame here with another circle and another frame here with another one and so on so let's say i have this all right, this is my fantastic frame by frame animation. And now um, I want to change the look of this. I can just go to the styles, go to line and say, OK, I don't want this to be blue. I want it to be red. So now the entire animation is red. And maybe I want to change the thickness. So 10 is too much. Uh, maybe I want five. So I set five. And now the entire animation is um, has a line width of five. Or maybe I want a, a different um, a different brush maybe one this brush instead so now the entire animation is using that brush so it's very nice to use this for um, for frame by frame layers because you have control over the entire timeline just by changing the style um, so yeah that's it I hope it is clear thank you for watching bye